नेशनल एजुकेशनल पॉलिसी और एन ई पी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी इज समथिंग विच इज क्रिएटिंग अ लॉर्ड ऑफ कन्फ्यूजन इन द माइंड ऑफ पेरेंट्स सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम हियर टू टेल यू एवरी थिंग अबाउट नेशनल एजुकेशनल पॉलिसी एंड हाउ इट इज गोइंग टू चेंज द एंटायर एजुकेशनल सिस्टम दैट इज करेंटली प्रिवलेंट इन इंडिया हाई आई एम विद्या आई एम एन अर्ली चाइल्डहुड एजुकेटर एंड आई बीन वर्किंग इन एजुकेशनल फील्ड फ्रॉम द पास्ट सेवन ईयर्स सो वेलकम टू माई चैनल कीप वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ इट इज गोइंग टू अफेक्ट द एजुकेशनल सिस्टम दैट योर चाइल्ड इज गोइंग टू बी अ पार्ट ऑफ On 29th of July 2020 the union cabinet gave approval to national educational policy NEP 2020 is something which replaced national policy on education which was started in 1986 this came after a gap of 34 years thus making a lot of changes in the education system in a way to suit the current and the future generation The national policy on education was mainly focusing on access and equity of education to all while national education policy NEP 2020 is going to focus on quality education for all. So what is the role of NEP 2020? NEP 2020 is going to design a complete framework or structure for the school and the higher education of any child in India. So now I'm going to discuss about some of the key points of National Education Policy 2020 which will give you a complete understanding of how this is going to work like the educational system which was following a model of 10 plus 2 till now will be changed into 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 system let us understand this in a little bit more detail earlier where the academic system used to follow a 10 plus 2 model now it is going to follow a new model as i told 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 let us understand what is the meaning of these blocks or sections in the academic structure five year block means nursery lkg ukg first standard and second standard that is the primary and the pre primary part together is now going to be called as the foundation the major difference over here is till now the education policy that was being followed in india was not giving a lot of importance to preschool or any kind of learning before first standard but now after understanding the importance of early childhood education they have decided to include preschool also into the structure and that is how we have five years which includes nursery lkg ukg first standard and second standard together known as the foundation the next block consist of 3 years class 3 class 4 and class 5 together this will be known as preparatory or primary school after that comes the next three set class 6 class 7 and class 8 which will be known as the middle school then comes the four year block class 9 10 11 and 12 which will be known as secondary school and this is exactly how it is going to form a 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 structure the next point of nep is about the undergraduate program which will now be available again in 3 years and 4 years model with a multiple entry and exit point what is the meaning of this multiple entry and exit point let us understand that now this multiple entry and exit model means if by any chance they have to take a break and exit the graduation in between they don't have to go right from the start but they can start from wherever they have stopped which means they don't have to start everything again from first year itself this also means that they'll be getting certificate for the number of years they have completed in their undergraduate program for example for a 3 year undergraduate program if they complete 1 year they'll be getting their diploma certificate if they complete their 2 years they'll be getting their advanced diploma certificate and if they complete all 3 years they'll be getting their final graduate certificate 
In the same way, for the four-year degree program, if they are completing one year or two year, they will be getting diploma certificate. For their four-year undergraduate program, if they are completing one year, they will be getting their diploma certificate. For two years, again diploma certificate. For three years, advanced diploma certificate and if they complete four years, they will be getting their UG degree certificate. It is also going to be credit based which means one credit will be equivalent to one hour of lecture or teaching or equivalent to two hours of field work or practical experience. There is also going to be an academic bank of credit which is going to be a sum of all the credits that the child have acquired during their UG or undergraduate or college program. According to that the degree certificate will be provided to the child. The higher educational institute can now provide one year master's degree to their students. Earlier, the master's program used to come after doing 10 plus 2 undergraduate program and then 2 years of master's program. But now, after 10 plus 2 and then the degree program, the master's program can be completed in one year and the second year is going to be completely practical or field experience, provided that the person have completed three years of their undergraduate program. And if you have done four years of undergraduate program, then with research, your master program is going to take only one year. To make it very simple, for all those people who are selecting graduation programs like BSc, BCA and so on, which is a three year degree program or undergraduate program, their structure is going to be like three plus two system, where three years of undergraduate program and two years of master, where one year will be the master's program and the next second year is going to be their research work. But for a person who have done four years of uh, undergraduate program, they are going to have four plus one model, which means their masters is going to be completed in their one year, including the research and everything together. This means students who are doing four years of undergraduate program like BE, BTech, B Pharma and so on will get an experience of doing the research work in the fourth year itself. Earlier where people used to complete their MPhil programs and then go and join for PhD. Now all those who have completed their master's program can apply for PhD or DPhil programs. Because of this, a lot of parents who are having children born one or two days after 1st of June are not able to join for standard in this particular year and they have to repeat the entire year to go and join to the first standard. So this confusion we will be clearing in the next video. I hope till this video till all this all the points are clear and now you understand the basic meaning of national education policy and how it is going to affect the entire educational system that is prevalent till now.